Bring in the bag tag members. I'm Jeff Jack Blah. If you guys want to bitch about anything, come see me. Um, national tags. So um, the club is supporting the national tag concept. If you guys want national tags, I just got another order in. We're one of the biggest communities that has national tags. So come see me for that. Las Vegas staff, uh, it's going to be bigger than last year. So if you want to help, uh, be a, a staff member for the Las Vegas Challenge. See Scott Merritt or I, we have lots of goodies going on for staff, including a free dinner with your family and some of the touring pros and a post dinner. So see Scott or I, we give you lots and lots of goodies. We could always use more help. Lost and found a wild horse. They did have a diver go in. It's like 140 kids. I don't have them. So we're waiting to pay the new diver. Once I get the disc, I give 702 numbers to the club. So that's the 702 lost and found wild horse. If it doesn't have 702, I keep everything in my house until the Las Vegas challenge. So feel free to look me up, bring some friends over to go through all those discs. You can only take your discs. We had problems last year with people taking other people's discs and it just wasn't right. So that's why I'm holding on to all lost and found discs that don't have a local number. We have, a, we have a couple key staff members that are going through a hard time. Um, Innova is working their magic again. We're getting a 100 fundraiser disc. It's going to have a unique stamp on it with Jack Wall events on it. I made a commitment with Innova that I will not sell that disc, that stamp, without $4 of every disc going to a cause. Those of you that didn't know, Mike Klein, who was our tea time starter for of course disc golf values, his wife, I call her Cheesy Pub Janelle, as a brain tumor on her pituitary gland. Um, she's going, going to have surgery September 28th. So with Scott's permission, um, at the sunrise, showdown, the sunrise on uh, the 22nd, we're doing a live auction with a whole bunch of good discs with those proceeds going to pay their medical costs. They just moved to Oregon, they're really short money. Anything would help, he's shocked that we're doing this, but he was a huge helper for us, so let's give it back to him. So that'll be um, the proceeds from the disc plus this live auction. We also have another Las Vegas Challenge staff member who's gonna remain anonymous at this time, who's also going through a cancer scare. So uh, anything you guys can do to help with that raffle and help buy those 100 discs, it would be awesome. Finally, my little exercise. So just go with me here, guys. So I've gone to Tim Solinsky, which is out of state the last two years, and PDGA World Pro Masters the last two years. All these guys are coming up to me, and gals, are coming up to me and saying how awesome the Las Vegas club has become. They come to the Las Vegas Challenge, they come to the Halloween, they read your Facebook posts, and they can't believe how much we have grown and become such a unit, because that wasn't the case 20 years ago. So kudos to everyone who helps make our sport and our club grow, and here's the little exercise. If you have helped in any way run a, a, any type of event out here for the Las Vegas Disc Golf Club, or an informal challenge, or setting up a course, or selling fundraiser discs, or doing anything you can, anyone who's participated in any type of that type of activity, can I please have you just come stand right over here? Anyone who's helped out, please get out in the sun. <laughs> anything, help at all. T pads, volunteer spotting at tournaments. Canyon, set up Black Mountain, anything. Being on a board, digging tea pads, showing kids how to play, setting up stuff at your school. Greg Stack, are you out there? Baxter? So, guys, this is the reason why our sport rocks. Give him a huge hand, please. Yeah, that's also you and Scott. Let's not forget. Yeah, come on. So now we're going to narrow this down. Please don't move. If you have ran a formal TD event or you've been on the board, please remain standing. 
Yeah. If you have ran a formal <laughs> PDGA <laughs> event, sit down been on a board, way. please remain <laughs> standing. <laughs> Woo! Let's give these guys give another these guys hand, guys. So I went to the last board meeting. Besides the board, it was just me. And these guys have a hard time. People like to talk smack about the decisions the board's doing. It changes every year. They're doing their best to try to make everyone happy. The problem is you can't make everyone happy. So if you guys have a concern with the board decision or how an event's being ran, instead of griping to your friends and doing the bashing on the side, grab them, pull them to the side, and just give them an earful if you can. Maybe they can't make the change, maybe they can. But these are the guys that are really trying to promote the sport. So out of these guys, there's one gentleman that is really why we're all here. So if you reinitiated the club, after the club was kind of dying, if you got us courses out of Wild Horse, and if you're getting us a course in Boulder City, please Woo! remain standing. <laughs> Surprise for Ricker. He's been fighting leukemia for a couple years now, if you didn't know that. He is really the one why we have reinitiated the club. Him and Kerry Trotter started again in 2008 after it was dying. He's, he has all this energy. He has work, family, disc golf. That's his priorities. So, on behalf of the Las Vegas Challenge and any of our champion discs, they will be paying for Ricker. To be going to the USDGC and playing on behalf of the Las Vegas. Vegas this golf club. Do we get a speech or no? <laughs> I had to lie to his wife and him to get him up here today, guys. <laughs> Good job. Woo! I'm here today because of Jeff, the original gentleman's club, and a lot of these people that just that they grew what this sport was. They supported these out of these just off the wall crap that I would come up with. <laughs> and when I got diagnosed with leukemia five years ago, I stepped down from the board and was more focused on I couldn't do anything. I don't have any energy. But I promised Jeff I was gonna do everything I could to get us into a ball court. We've done it. My next goal, if I can make it that far, is going to be to get us to help get worlds out here. We have a, we've got an opportunity right now to get into Boulder City. They have a 27-hole course. They're willing to just chat with us about. They've already bought 20 baskets. So that is the start of the move. Work has settled down for me. My goal, working with Jeff and his Jeff Jabbar events, and the board, and everyone that's out here, is to get us worlds. And we have the opportunity. I talked to Mill Dog when I was up in Creekside. He said, Boulder Creek will help us get there. We can put multiple championship courses out there with no problem. And Boulder City's willing to step behind us <coughs> on top of Henderson. So all I can do is say thanks for all of you supporting what it is we're doing. And my only, I guess not a regret, but what hurts is that I can't put into it what I used to. I just don't have energy anymore. <laughs> I mean, I went to Creeks and I did or killed me. I had to look bad. I mean, it, it, it's bad. But this is what I want to do. And I come out here because of you guys. And if anybody ever says any difference with bullshit, they're lying to you. This is what I get up for now. Well, it works first. And then <laughs> this, then my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I email 
I was getting ready to email them again this morning and going, you need to take my name off that list. I think you got a problem. But thank you. Thank all of you. I appreciate it. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. Love you, John.